The United played on the weekend, hosted Newcastle at home. Ronaldo's debut, Ronaldo's um, second debut, of course, for the club, having having rejoined from Juventus. And um, monumentous affair, a great match overall because we scored four goals and only conceded one. Ronaldo got a brace, maybe on quality, not the best, but just in terms of atmosphere and what it's done to the club's expectation, it's definitely a positive going forward. And let's touch on some things here first things first so again um the quality of the game wasn't the best i think it's quite clear to see there's still some issues about how we play about how we build up attacks about how we stretch teams about how we create chances about how we integrate our attacking players it's still not fluid enough for me it still doesn't feel like there's a concerted effort and plan to get the ball into certain positions it all still feels a bit get on the wings and cross it in a little bit which again maybe that's the tactics but i do think it's a little bit one-dimensional um especially when we don't have the ability to, I feel like we're a bit, we're way more dynamic when we're on a counter attack our players seem to just kind of get into kind of autopilot mode flicking the ball around the corner one two touches and we end up kind of creating some very unique and special opportunities based on the players that we have available who kind of all had the similar sort of profile in terms of keeping things short and sweet and how they pass and interact but then when we're kind of building slow I always feel like it's a little bit too lethargic and whatnot right this takes time for us to gather momentum but that aside we did happen to score the first goal just before half time and of course Ronaldo happened to be the one to bag the first goal I'd, I'd bet a lot of people probably put some money on that probably won a good amount or maybe not because the odds are probably short because he's an absolute goal machine he was able to pounce on a Mason Greenwood shot that kind of spilled and he was the only player that was already on the run as Mason hit it he was already kind of running towards the goalkeeper hoping it spilled out of his hands which it did I wonder if that was something they did in training because Mason does that often he step over or sort of shimmy inside and hits it straight away and more often than not, he usually hits a target or makes the keeper work. So maybe Ronaldo knew this and kind of hoped that it would kind of ricochet or bounce or hit the post and he could knock it in, which he did. And if anything, that might have been a symbol representation of what we should expect from Ronaldo at United. We, I think there were glimpses in the first half of him. So there was one run, I think around the 20th minute or so, where he got the ball at the edge of the box on the left-hand side, kind of quintessential round of position, did a couple of step overs, chops on the left-hand side and knocked it across the goal, but it obviously didn't hit the target. And that was kind of the Ronaldo we knew of old, right, when he made his debut against Bolton. But this new era of Ronaldo, this new Cristiano Ronaldo, is more of a centre forward than he is a winger. He's not going to be doing the wing play he did of old, and we shouldn't really expect him to do that, considering we have, we bought players like Jadon Sancho, right? We shouldn't really be expecting him to do such a thing. And obviously Mason Green was deputising really well on the right-hand side too. But I think his ability or his kind of um, tendency to be in the right spot at the right time to, you know, knock in a last minute header, to maybe win a penalty, to maybe score a penalty, maybe knock in a free kick from time to time, score a tap in, it's definitely going to be invaluable if we are going to have any kind of chance of winning the league or trying to challenge for it. Now, I still think in terms of how we play football, we're still probably a little bit too short, mostly in the coaching side of things. I don't think players, we, I don't think a defensive midfielder would suddenly make us a world title challenge obviously it would help but I think the way we are coached if we're able to be a little bit more um, a little bit more what's that thing called purposeful and intentional about how we play the game in terms of how we pass in terms of if we're going to play out from the back how we're going to count whatever it may be we'd have a far better chance of winning stuff but at the moment it just feels a little bit random and a little bit give up ball to our best players and hope something happens which is okay but you know it can be a bit concerning second half of course Nucleus will equalize with um, Mankio's goal which again is another indication of why we do need a proper defensive midfielder um, in terms of our shape there was way too much space in between as centre backs and then defensive mid as a ball I think popped him to Almiron he was able with I think a couple of touches skip by like three or four of our players um, knock it on the inside to um I forgot his name and then he basically knocked it to Almiron um, just in time actually Varane was quite unlucky he just he just tried to nip in to cut the ball out but by the time Almiron got it it was a pretty easy finish to kind of aim for the far post and it kind of trickled in really easily so that was again another highlight that although Matic I thought played really well this game I thought Matic and Pogba were pretty decent in the middle I think it's another indication that if you get an actual competent defensive midfielder playing alongside Pogba he doesn't actually need to play like a 
defensive role he can play that core of kind of quarterback double pivot role that he does for France for United but you're going to need a combative defensive midfielder that can kind of do the running do the grunt work and then kind of pass the ball to Pogba and he can progress it obviously most people like myself would want to see Pogba playing in a number 10 position because I still think as we saw with the which goal was that one as we saw with the Jesse Lingard goal I think we saw his ability to kind of flick the ball and do skills outside the box as a number 10 no one else can do that Bruno hasn't got that ability he doesn't have that dribbling ability or close control to do such a thing so I think as number 10s go Pogba is definitely the better number 10 but in terms of balance in terms of what we have available he's just going to have to play that position and it's just what it is unfortunately um, and I think if you get a good defensive midfielder to play alongside him at double pivot you will definitely see the best of him and I think he played well Matic but that second sorry that first goal or the, that leveled it it kind of made me feel a bit queasy and then it was oh yeah Bruno Fernandez goal which was no sorry there was Cristiano Ronaldo goal the second one now that second goal I think was an indication or for me was something that I would like to see United do more often um like that counter attack play I don't know how we would be able to put it together in terms of a coaching um protocol but I wish there was something that we could do to ensure that we create more of those kind of chances where we kind of spring an attack we have our full backs running forward Luke Shaw gets the ball Fred's an incredible kind of through kind of fruish ball into the path of Ronaldo he's able to kind of pull it that's some superb kind of touch he pulls it kind of away from the defender into his path which then doesn't give them a opportunity to tackle him if they do he's going to fall over it's a penalty and on his left foot just smashes it low and hard in the middle it goes for the keeper's leg and it's in right incredible opportunity I think you know he takes about two touches in that whole entire run so great to see overall and again you'd hope signing a player like Ronaldo those kind of chances that would usually maybe hit the keeper maybe go wide with some of our other strikers are definitely more often not going to go in which is going to make a definitely a big change when you're facing some of the lesser teams that we don't necessarily create a lot of chances against but we do create a couple that we always miss so if we're able to convert those chances maybe that could help us in the league chance I'm not too sure but I just would rather I just would want selfishly just to kind of play that way and have that kind of flexibility and attack more often because there wasn't many occasions where we did that sort of counter-attacking sort of play in that game overall maybe it's because of Newcastle's tactics as you can see on this lineup sheet they essentially played a four five a four sorry a four so a one five four one essentially right so they had two banks of basically four at all times playing um in front of us so of course the ability to counter attack wasn't there because they were sitting incredibly deep but i just wish there was a way we could play that we could maybe move their players around a bit more stretch them out you know what i mean like this there's, there's ways to get have it be done then we go into Bruno Fernandes' amazing finish top corner which again we don't really see too much of because you know he scores a bucket load of set pieces and penalties and whatnot but his ability to shoot from outside the box or most important his ability to usually get it on target especially when he's shooting from far is really unparalleled he doesn't get enough credit for it again he's definitely not a midfielder or a, def mid a number 10 that I would prefer in my team I still think he's lacking a lot in the close control dribbling and ball retention side of things but oddly enough again maybe because of Ronaldo's presence this is I think the best midfield per per performance I've seen of Ronaldo of Bruno in United shirt since whenever like it was a more disciplined role he wasn't bombing forward all the time he was trying to find balls over the top trying to find balls over the corner around the corner so he just playing like a conventional number 10 and I think it helped our shape a lot more that he wasn't so far forward all the time so that finish was superb maybe the best goal of the, of the match 100% sent it flying in the top corner and then to end it to cap things off Jesse Lingard finished off a pretty decent move that included Bruno, Martial, Van Der Beek and Lingard a lot of players who generally don't get a lot of time playing for us in the first team but definitely showed um, our strength in depth when it comes to bringing players off of the bench and just that entire move with Pogba rolling the ball he's foot flicking out to the side rolling around expecting a return and it going into Marshall the dummy then going into Lingard and then branding it oh, a beautiful goal one of, but one of the, maybe the better team goals overall and I think more of something I'd like to see us play I think this again the second and fourth goal were definitely things I would like to see us do more often in terms of how we attack and that could definitely be something that you probably point towards a lack of coaching that's probably the reason why I'd assume so because again I still feel like we still play a little bit we're too, still dependent on our best players in terms of creating things and making a difference and creating a moment and maybe creating a chance
But overall, a 4-1 win against Newcastle at home is definitely something to get excited about. Um, the atmosphere United looked amazing at Old Trafford. It was absolutely rocking. Ronaldo's return was met with rapturous applause. He clearly enjoyed it. I think he said even after the game that he felt incredibly nervous about the entire thing, but he didn't show, of course, because he's a consummate professional. And now we're facing, I think, young boys in the Champions League tomorrow. So onwards and upwards of us, onwards and upwards, man. But yeah, what an incredible time to be a United fan, man. What an incredible time to be a United fan I'm not going to lie 